Hey everyone, thanks so much for joining me. Stitching with Sue here. So, uh, I've been feeling a little down today. Um, let me take off my contraption. I feel like I have a little bit more freedom. Um, so I thought, you know, we're expecting some snow to come today. Well, tonight, tomorrow. And um, feeling a little bit down and out. So I thought, well, what better way to make me feel better than to come up here do a video sorry i'm just getting myself set up here with this contraption that i have to wear for my treatment it's getting to be a pain because it's in the way so anyhow i thought that this would be a, a great way to make me feel a little less in the dumps and <clears throat> be able to come here with all of my friends so i hope you are doing well let me just readjust i um thought I would do one of the free designs from Dime and I will put it down below in the after you see where it says more. I can't remember if it, I always can't remember if they see more or more right after the heading underneath and you'll see three little dots <clears throat> and you just click on that and it will open up the whole description and this is a free design from Dime. It was released um, I believe on Friday last Friday and I thought that this would be something fun to do on a onesie for Delilah. I'm just making sure I have it all going the right way because I've been known to do things the wrong way. So this is a onesie by Kimberbell. And the side of it here is not stitched. It's open. So if you have a flatbed machine, this could be a suggestion. Um, now, these are a little bit pricey, but I wanted to try them out. So I uh, bought them quite a while ago and I did one stitch out of a dime design. I will show you that when I'm done. Hopefully I will remember. Um, but this is another dime design and it's six little ladybugs and I thought it'd be perfect for this. So the size of this is six to nine months. I'm assuming she hasn't exceeded that yet, but um, it's really cute. It has uh, stripes. It came in a set of two. The other one, I think, let me try to see if I could reach and get it. The other one has, yes, very little tiny polka dots. And I'm going to put that one over on the side. I haven't sewn the side yet of the other one. I wanted to finish the two of them. So in other words, this is a 10,198 stitch and it's going to take 19 minutes. And like I said, it's six little lady, yeah, six little ladybugs. So let's go ahead and get started. So, I hope you are all doing well. I'm starting off with a gray color. It looks like it's a gray color. And uh, after that will be uh, black. So, we will do that. So, this one is one minute. There's a lot of changes of thread. So, you'll have to bear with me every time I have to change the thread color. I guess you can make life easier on yourself by not choosing so many different colors of thread. But I think it looks really cute with the different color ladybugs. So I'm using a uh, cutaway stabilizer. This is a four by four size hoop that I'm using. So those of you with four by four, this will fit for uh, whatever design um, you're placing your item on. And um, I just flipped the design so it's sideways. And um, it's gonna do the uh, little ladybugs going across. All right, so I'm gonna trim this. Next is gonna be black. So let me change that thread. So yeah, I hope you are doing well. Today is Monday. What is today's date? I always have to look because my machine doesn't say. So it is, uh, oh, let me get rid of that. It is 3-13-2023 and the time is 5.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And uh, pardon me while I'm so close here changing the thread. <laughs> Working around you guys. So I hope uh, you're all well. Now, if you're in the United States and you uh, recognize daylight savings time, you would be like me where your inner clock is off um, because it should be now 4.30, but we had to spring ahead. So it's uh, 5.30 where actually my machine apparently doesn't automatically change the time, so I would have to change the time on my 
an embroidery machine. So I'm using a 7511 needle, and like I said, I'm using a cutaway stabilizer, 4x4 hoop. I'm stitching on my brother Anovis Essence VE2300. And I know I'll still get questions on that because I don't know if maybe people don't uh, pay attention or um, I don't know, they don't get it. But I always get questions on the same exact thing that I made comments on. So sometimes uh, I think a lot of people like to fast forward. They don't like the chit chat. So if you don't listen to the whole thing or don't watch the whole video, you may miss out on information that I pass along to you, along with tips and um, yeah, anything that I find might be important to you. So anyhow, um, this is what I uh, thought I would stitch today, and I'm going to have to drag out the old sewing machine to stitch up the sides of these so that uh, we don't have an open side. But it's this is a good way, um, if you like to do uh, small onesies, you know, if you already have ones already made, maybe you can take a seam ripper and seam rip one of the sides of it. This way you can open it up and it will give you a better, um, an easier way to do smaller items because we know these onesies are small. And when you have a flatbed machine, you have to kind of scrunch up all that fabric so that it doesn't interfere and sometimes it, it could just be a pain. And this one here, you don't have to worry. So, yeah, we're almost done. I guess it's going to do three ladybugs and then it's going to do the other three ladybugs. That's what it's looking like. Okay, so now we are going to switch to red. We're going to do the first ladybug. And I thought if I do this video, I'll be able to chat with some friends. I won't feel so much in a uh, downer. I have to get my thread to come out. I'm using these really cool uh, Hemingworth threads. And I know I've mentioned them before. And it has this plastic case that goes around. And I'll tell you, whenever I use these, I never end up with any issues. Well, knock on wood. Um, I had to pull it through. What am I getting caught on? Something here. So here is the, um, I'll try to show you it. It's called Hemming. Is that going to focus? Come on, focus. Hemingworth. And it comes with this plastic case and I know it's kind of close up so it's a little um a little bit not focusing but um I have just red white and black and I've had them for a little while um the red there still is a lot left the white and the black I don't know about you guys but I tend to use a lot of those colors so I'm going to be sad when I use them all up because they're not that cheap to buy. And I'm right now not in a situation where I can spend a whole lot of money um, because I'm not working and um, I won't be going back to work because of my illness. So um, money is a little, little tight these days until things get into place. And I don't really, I don't go anywhere. I'm home all the time, except if I have a doctor's visit. So um, this is another way to kind of fill my time and feel like I'm sitting around with some friends. And um, I'm not going to have too much of a social life. So uh, this, the uh, rubber stamping with the card making and my stitching brings me closer to outside people. Um, I also joined a book club, an online book club. So we read a, a book every month, and you can get free books through the library, or you can get them uh, really, really cheap from used book sites. And um, it's a great way to, there's a Facebook group, and um, we chat on the Facebook group, so you kind of make friends that way. And at the end of the month, we all get together online and we talk about the book. So that's a lot of fun. Um, yeah, otherwise, you know, 
I'm hoping once you know the weather clears up and we kind of get out of this yucky weather system that we're in and called winter, and if we get into um, you know, warmer weather, where I'll be able to get out more and take the dog for walks. Next one is what are they calling it? 321 is the number on it. I don't know if I have a 321. But the next color is going to be like a pink. I don't know if that's going to show up too well. All right, let me change the red. We're done with red. So red, pink, blue, green, purple, and orange. I seem to use a lot of pink. Um, I'm looking for like a bright, bright pink. I see one on the wall, but I'm not sure that one has enough. I would be playing chicken with that one for sure. I'll go with this one. It's kind of close to red, but that's okay. It's bright. What color is this? 086. So, yeah, I'm not able to drive with my illness. So, um, it kind of puts a damper on a lot of things. You know, you can't just, you know, jump in the car and. Oh, what the heck was that? That fell down. I'm not sure what that was that fell down. You can't just jump in the car and go somewhere, you know. Um, Anywhere you want to go has to be walking. So that kind of puts a damper on things. But um, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, I'm supposed to have an appointment. I don't want to stop that and find that thread. Where is that thread hanging? Have an appointment, which is, this is probably about the fifth time they have changed my appointment for uh, a neuro-ophthalmologist. Um, it'll be my second appointment with her. And uh, she's supposed to do some sort of uh, depth perception testing to uh, check my depth perception to see if it's good enough that I'd be able to drive. Um, so I'm kind of keeping fingers crossed for that. And we'll see what happens there, but I don't know. Okay, got all my colors here. So, yeah, my my depth perception was affected by the brain tumor. Uh, my tumor is actually on the, the left occipital region, which is in the left side in the back. So the left side actually controls the right side of your body. So the right side was affected. And I mean, things have improved a lot since I had the surgery and had the mask removed. Um, in, that, in the very beginning, I had trouble um, with my hands shaking. Um, I had some trouble where I couldn't feel the, my feet on the one side. That quickly resolved. And uh, trouble with cutting and eye-hand coordination. I had issues with that. And I'll tell you, I don't know if it was the diamond painting, but um, I used to do a lot of diamond painting. If you're not familiar with that, it's putting those little beads on, almost like a cross stitch, but with little beads on a sticky paper. <laughs> and, excuse me, I'm not sure if it's that or what it was, but after I did that, I felt like it had it has improved tremendously like I had issues with coloring in the lines and things like that so a lot of that has improved so I'm hoping that um well you know my doctor says um it you know I can't whatever damage was done won't be corrected but see even going to pull this thread I can't see it um there it is you know I he says it won't improve, but 
you know, I'm wanting to break those odds. I'm putting the blue thread on now because I feel as though some things have improved. Maybe all things won't come back 100%, but um, I'm hoping, I'm hoping at least I can drive. If, uh, if nothing else, you know, if I'm able to just drive little short trips, like, you know, just across the bridge to run to the store. Did that go? Yeah, that looks like it went through. You know, just short little jaunts like that. I, I would be happy with that. You know, I'm certainly not going to be driving an hour away or even a half an hour away. But just local little trips if I have to go to the store or something. And there's the story. You have on the story. Oh, that was a loud one. I went to pet her and she was like, hello. And yes, so for all our friends, hello. We all saw you when you were watching TV. <laughs> and if you're wondering, what is she talking about? Um, check out the video that I posted when um, I happened to be flipping through YouTube channels and I came across a room of cats and their adoptable cats. And I'm not even sure where it's located at, but um, she happened to come running and she sat on the little end table staring at my computer screen with the little, and what are you doing here? Yes, with the cats on the screen. It was just so funny to see her. I don't know, I guess I never really thought that cats and dogs and that, and she keeps bumping me here. Don't bump the camera, the folks get another, enough bumping me. Um, I never thought that they are able to, to see TV screens, but from what a lot of people have been posting, they said that their dog watches TV, and you know, they have cats that watch TV. So I guess they can see the TV. And uh, it was just so funny to see her. She was just so mesmerized um, by the screen and the cats that were moving about. Oh, I was like, feel sorry for her. Like thinking like, oh, poor thing. She's probably wondering, well, why don't I have a room full of cute cats like that? <laughs> but um, anyhow, um, it was really cute to see her. So I had to jump right in there and make sure I got a picture of her. Okay, what's the next one? Oh, next we're going to do the um, black dots on the back of the ladybugs. So I guess if you only wanted to do three ladybugs, you could. But I'm going to do all of them. Yes. So we're going to do the dots on their back, and that's only going to take a minute. So this is fairly quick stitch. So if you're into ladybugs, this might be a fun stitch out for you um, on a tote bag or um, on a towel or, um, you know, even on baby clothes or your own clothes. You can maybe add some words to it, like ladybug, ladybug, fly away, you know. You can embellish this further, depending on what it is you're making. Now, for a little baby onesie, you don't have a whole lot of real estate here. So, um, pretty much sticking to the design. But I will take a picture of it, and I will send it in to hashtag on the house for Dime to uh, showcase on their weekly Facebook Live. And they're also on YouTube. They go on Facebook and on YouTube. And they do lives every Thursday at, it's 2 o'clock Eastern time. So I'm not sure whatever the time zone you're, you're in, but it's 2 o'clock Eastern on Thursdays. And it's uh, Designs and Machine Embroidery Dime. And you could watch it either on Facebook or YouTube. And you can chat on there. And, you know, who knows how many people from our group might be on there. And if you're not familiar, uh, we have a Facebook group, Stitching with Sue. Come on over and join that one. Um, there's a lot of people posting their projects that they're making, uh, freebies they come across, questions they have, uh, suggestions. Um, it's a nice group of folks. If I find anyone on there that really shouldn't be on there, I will remove them from the group because we don't want any... Um, you know, any of those trolls or um, robotic things and whatnot on our channel. We want to keep it nice and friendly. So, yeah, come on over and join us there. And I do post every week the free dime, dime design with the link. So you can find the link over there on the Facebook group. And it'll be down below in the description. And 
And the thread that I'm using is by Bro Thread, and it's not a Brother product, but it's Bro Thread, and um, that's what the ladybugs. Unless I'm using red, white, or black, then those colors will be from the the Hemingworth Poly Thread. So yeah, it's a lot of fun, and uh, a lot of great, a lot of great projects are being shared over there. So come on over to Stitching with Sue. And uh, let's see, some of the other questions I always get, where do I get my supplies? Most of my supplies are from Amazon. Um, sometimes I am contacted by companies to uh, do unboxings or try out their products. And I'm, as long as it's related to something I'm interested in, you know, I will go ahead and do that. I just had a, a company reach out to me to uh, send me some diamond paintings, some projects. So um, I, uh, I'm more than happy to do that because I still enjoy diamond painting. And these were uh, something different. It was bookmarkers and um, the other thing was like a hanging, um, I don't know, it was a hanging gnome with flowers, sunflowers or something. So I will do the unboxing of that and um, include all of their information as requested. So in turn, they, you know, they, send you free product to review um they also had you know they'll send you a certain amount of free product for you know doing unboxing and then another amount for doing an unboxing and a creating with it so i chose just to do the unboxing um there's not too much to share about diamond painting I'll, when it comes and i do the unboxing i'll do like a quick little um intro as to how it's all done so if you have any questions you'll be able to um you'll be able to find out if you're new to it and you have no idea what it even is which i find that so hard to believe people that are into crafting have, that have never heard of diamond painting but i suppose there's a lot of you out there that have not let me grab a drink here oh it's so good i buy these um from walmart it's called clear american and it's called strawberry flavored sparkling water beverage with other natural flavors and it doesn't have any sugar it doesn't have let me see what it says on it there's no calories there's no sugar um there's no carbs uh there's no fat and um they taste so good it's kind of like a carbonated beverage but without all that additional stuff in it so I really enjoy them. They, they actually, it actually tastes, tastes sweet to me, so I'm sure there's some kind of sweetener in it. But um, those of you that like to watch your sugar intake uh, might want to look into that. I don't know if they have other flavors. I'm sure they do, but I'm like hooked on the strawberry. And like I said, I do get it from Walmart. Um, I do get my groceries delivered. Um, I'm still trying to be stubborn. Now I'm going to do the gray next. So we're going to repeat the ladybugs on the next level, but we're going to change the colors. I do, uh, I enjoy being independent. So I'm trying to be as independent as possible that I can. So without having to bother, I'm not sure if that went through the needle here. Yes, I think it did. Yeah, I do have to get a um, new pair of glasses because my vision has definitely changed. I noticed my, my vision changed prior to um, my craniotomy surgery. Um, so I do have to get that addressed too, but I kind of wanted to wait until things kind of settled down. And uh, we'll see how it goes with my next eye appointment, which I, I don't know did I, if I mentioned it. That's the other thing. I, I have some short-term memory loss. So I don't know if I mentioned it already, but I'm just so annoyed because I think this is like the fifth time that this appointment has been rescheduled. Oh, God bless you, Doris. Yeah, she's sneezing. And I'm just like, it has been moved from one day to another day, to the same day, to a different time, to another day. Oh, 
tell you. And, you know, when you're kind of waiting a couple months, you know, I'm waiting a couple months to get answers to my questions about driving and everything. It's just annoying. So, and I told my son that the appointment was changed. Well, he's going to be out of town then. So, I'm kind of wondering if they're going to change the appointment again. So, I'm just going to kind of wait. Oh, and I want to get those threads over there. I see them. I'm going to wait because in case they uh, change the appointment again, before I go around trying to ask some of my friends if someone can take me to that appointment. I'm just going to wait because in case they're going to cancel that appointment again, I won't be like, be such a pain to people. You know, saying like, oh, I have the appointment and oh, no, they changed it to this. Oh, no, they changed it to that. I realize that things come up, but I mean, the you know, first appointment was made back in January. Fingers crossed that this next appointment stays and that um, I'm able to get someone to take me. So if anyone's available, no. <laughs> um, anyhow, that, that's the worst I, I have to say, other than having to wear this Optune device on my head, which is sometimes a pain. Um, the other pain would be not being able to drive or go anywhere. Um, the only places I've really gone lately have been, you know, to relatives' homes and appointments. So it's kind of exciting for me to go to an appointment because I get to leave the house. <laughs> but anyhow, so yes, they are calling for a snowstorm. Um, it's already almost mid-March and we really haven't gotten um, any big snowstorms, which I'm not complaining about. The weather has been kind of odd. I think everywhere the weather has been odd, not just here in northeastern Pennsylvania. It's been everywhere. So, anyhow, we'll see what happens. I think they're calling for, I don't know, the, the last I saw was four to six. But, um, it's like I said, it's almost six o'clock now. I don't see anything, but they originally called for it to start earlier, and now I think they pushed it further out to start, so who knows? Sometimes I think it's just like a shot in the dark, like just take a dart, throw it at the dartboard, and see where it sticks, and um, I realize the weather patterns have been really crazy, so for the weather people, I mean, you can't blame them. You know, they're doing their best with what they have, right? Okay, let's take the black off. And next we're going to do green. All right. Somebody had uh, left a question on uh, one of my older videos about um, what were the scissors I was using. And um, the only way I'm going to know you know, what, how to answer that is to go in and watch the video because I don't remember um, what scissors. I mean, most of the scissors I use are either the applique scissors, which have that little half moon shape, or there are these, um, let's see where you're at, these curved scissors. And I think that's just what they're called, curved scissors. Um, so the apple pear are like a duck bill. They call them a duck bill because when you look at them, it has like a half moon shape on one side. Um, so the person asking that question, unless they go back and watch the video, which I have to find it, and blah, blah, blah. Um, those are usually the scissors I use. Are mostly just these curved scissors anymore. In the very beginning, I used to use the duck bill scissors. But then I found that these curved scissors um, did a better job for my use. So I've been using those. But aren't these ladybugs cute? I think they're super cute. And you know when you uh, get designs from reputable companies like Dime, you know that you're getting a, a good design that was done, a good 
the digital design that was done with precise stitching and excellent turnout every time. So time does a wonderful job. So I hope that you can take some time out of your busy Thursdays or go to the YouTube channel and watch the reruns, I'll call them reruns, um, of prior shows. You can pick up a lot of tips from about machine embroidery and it's a great way to, um, you know, stretch your knowledge. I mean, knowledge is power. So the more you know, um, the more ideas you'll come up with, the, the better your embroidery projects will turn out. Sometimes there's a lot of little tips thrown into those uh, shows. Where maybe a lot of it you already know, but sometimes you just need a little refresher course. And, um... I enjoy watching and there's also a chat function while you're watching so you can chat you can ask questions when it's live and they will answer your questions we're gonna do purple no, I'm not sure ladybugs most ladybugs I've ever seen are red and black but this makes it super fun that you can make these ladybugs if you do this you can put all of your ladybugs to be all red or whatever color you want it to be that's one of the great things about machine embroidery is that you make it your own. And I think it'd be cute to do a little um, verse on here. And then ladybug, ladybug fly away, like I mentioned earlier. I think that would be real cute. You can also use, um, the Dime has a uh, free download called Tool Shed, and it's um, an embroidery, uh, what do I want to call it, an embroidery uh, program where you could even go in and enlarge these a little bit by using their software. And there's a lot of little things you can do with their software, not necessarily all the uh, other things, you know, that uh, a purchase design, a purchase, not design, a purchase program will do, but there's a lot of little things you can do, you can add words to it, and, you know, by using their software, and you do that all, <coughs> excuse me, all in at a time, <coughs> excuse me, I'm losing my voice, you do that all at a time, and do it on the computer, and then you save the download, and then when you stick it out, it already has all that in there, let me just get another drink, My voice isn't used to talking so much. <laughs> the next lady that we're going to do is an orange. And then after that, we'll just be the final step are the dots on the lady bug's back. And we'll be done. So we're about a half hour into it already. But like I said, it is a 19 minute stitch. But in between with changing the uh, thread, so if you have a multi-needle machine, you just load up those different colored threads and it just whizzes through this design. But if you have a uh, flatbed machine like I'm using here, you have to stop and change the thread, which is no big deal. Just takes you a little bit longer, which I'm in no rush. And if you are, then I'm sure you're not even hearing this because you probably fast forwarded through. But like I said, don't fast forward. You may miss out. You may even miss out on a giveaway if I'm doing one. Alrighty. I would have orange. Right where the attachment is for the 
camera is where um, I can't see what it's showing. done friends we have one more minute to do the little dots on their backs so if you're brand new here I would like to take this moment to welcome you and if you're enjoying what you're seeing, whether you're a subscriber or not, which of course everyone should be a subscriber, right? But if you're not, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Before this gets going, I want to uh, trim that thread. I'm gonna wipe this up so I can get in here with my curved scissors. There we go. Trim that thread. Put the foot back down and continue. So be sure to hit the subscribe button. And after you do that, next to that, there'll be a little bell. And if you click on the bell where it turns solid in color, you will be notified when I upload new videos because you don't want to miss out on any videos. And um, be sure to hit the subscribe, ring the bell, and give me a thumbs up. And if you feel like you'd like to leave a comment, um, please feel free to do so. And also, just a reminder, we have a Facebook group, Stitching with Sue. Come on over there on Facebook. Now, you don't even have to be a big Facebook person. You can just create an account and only come in and like the Stitching with Sue. You won't, we won't be having any ads from me. There won't be any kind of selling on there. There's just lots of sharing and caring and stitching, of course. So we can call it stitch talk. And a lot of times you might be working on a project and you have questions and maybe you don't know of anyone to ask. Well, come on over on our page and ask your question. There's a lot of very qualified, more qualified than I am to answer lots of questions. Um, I'm fairly new to machine embroidery and everything I've learned is by what I've read or what I watched or other groups I belong to. So um, that's the way you learn is by asking questions. And a lot of times it's trial and error just by, you know, figuring out how to do it. So we have lots of friendly folks over there and um, it's a great, great group of uh, stitchers. Men and women are all invited to join. Look at how cute these are. So I hope you go and download Design. Now, the one thing about their designs is that they are available for one year only. So every week, they come out with a brand new design. The final Thursday of the month is not only a design, but a project. So you want to make sure to go into Design the Machine Embroidery check out their free designs and download them so that you have them before the end of the year comes or you're racing the end of the year to catch up on all the ones you forgot to download and then you risk the chance of missing out on one. There was one that I missed out on um, the end of the year because I meant to do it and I thought I did it. I went to get the design and I didn't have it. I never went in and downloaded it. 
So they are only available for one year and they're all free designs. So feel free to go and download them and don't miss out. So, and if you do stitch out their design, be sure to, when you post it, do a hashtag on the house and they will find your design and they will share it on their weekly show. Because we love seeing what everybody creates. You know, people may look at this design and maybe do it on the brim of a hat or um, ways of using the design that we may never have a thought of. You could go into a tool shed and spread out this design and maybe put words in between, um, words underneath each ladybug. I mean, there's the possibilities are endless how you can take this design and make it your own. And we love to see what you're working on and what you're creating. And if you find a great design that you thought was something that others would be interested in or even if you don't think they might be interested in you never know so be sure to share your designs i am also affiliate with creative fabrica along with sweet pea and i do post um my affiliate links so if you're going to make a purchase from either one of those be sure to check out my affiliate links and i make a couple pennies off of it and, but they all add up and uh, who doesn't love making a little bit of extra money doing and sharing what you love, right? We all do. Miss Dory is back. She's done from sneezing. <laughs> we have one more dot to go. Hello, Miss Dory. Oh, she's purring up a storm here, right? Yeah. All right, are we done? Okay, we are done, finished sewing. Okay, I'm gonna hit the okay. I'm gonna slide my hoop out and my project. Let me um, bring you on over to um, my desk. Okay, hold on a sec. I got lots of stuff I gotta take over with me when I go. Including the camera. So close your eyes, I'm moving you on over. Don't mind the mess. All right, hold on. Gotta move my, all my contraptions out of the way. Oh my goodness, there goes my little table I knock over every time. So here it is, let's put some lights on here. There we go. So here is the cute design. I do see some little threads here that I want to trim. There we go. Okay, so let's take this out of the hoop. So let's look at the back. Here is the bag. Everybody always wants to see the back. Let me move my drink before I knock it down. There's the back and there's the front. Okay. Now I can unhoop it. Now because this is a um, piece of clothing for a baby there's um stuff you can buy that it comes on a roll now i did use a spray adhesive to put down my stabilizer so this will get cut off and as close to but leave a little bit extra around the design i'm always afraid i'm going to cut my um clothing but there is a material called tender touch and it looks just like the stabilizer. And you just cut a piece of it and iron it onto the back. And this way it will um, make the back so that it's not um, rough on a, um, on a baby's skin. You can also use it for adults too. Um, if you, you know, have, if you think that the shirt is going to be rubbing, you know, on your skin, this way it will not do that. Now all these little pieces, you know, I would I would just go across the surface like this. I wouldn't go, you know, deep in to cut them. Just do that. Oh, here's a little piece here. So the tender touch would then be cut to size. 
and um, then with an iron you place it over so if this was a tender touch you place it over and iron it on and then it covers because this could be like really rough on a baby's skin okay so let's take a look at this so here is um, the way that this is made and again this is made by Kimberbell so they have one side where it's not stitched so then once you complete with whatever you're doing you just go and turn it inside out and with your sewing machine just go ahead and I would use pins because that's what I do and line up your edges and stitch along that and then um, turn it right side out and you'll have your seam let me just fix this a little bit so let me hold it up oh I think that came out real cute once I press it and um, iron it down so there was one design and here was another design that I had done this too was an on the house design and it says spring so there's two really cute outfits that um, you can very quickly stitch up um, from uh, using the dime software I think they're really really cute this one has a little bit of an applique so you can choose whatever fabrics you want for your bird and your little bird house. And this one is just straight stitching, but I think it came out beautiful. Um, I love them both, and I hope Delilah loves them too. And um, I hope you love them. So I'm going to have to end up getting out the sewing machine and putting it on the table and sewing up those seams. And usually when I do something like that, I look around, what else do I have to sew? Um, because I don't have a designated sewing space. I have to, you know, move the machine everywhere I, I need to go. And um, it still works out. It's fine. But um, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this. Please let me know down in the comments what you think and um, what your ideas are to use this really cute design. And um, don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. That helps my channel tremendously. And it helps the algorithm where YouTube will promote my channel to more people. And then we get more people to follow. So thank you again. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thanks for watching. And until next time, happy stitching. Bye for now.